Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Game of Peons. This is a tutorial for fonts and styles that you can use with this book right here. The uh, the whole book signing thingamajig system they got here on Minecraft. I'm just going to sign that book. I'm going to say it like Whittles. Whittles. That doesn't... That, that's not a reference or anything. That's just a random thing. But anyway. So I'm going to be showing you uh, how... This is a very easy one actually. But some people... Like, how do you make fonts and styles? Not to me directly, but, you know, to some people. And it's actually a fairly easy process. It doesn't take much skill at all or anything like that. People are like, oh, God, it's all about programming and stuff like that. It's really not. It's pretty much a simple copy and paste. Now, you can see me dropping out from menu and back on right here. That's because this, this requires some copy and pasting. Because, if you look in the description, there are a bunch of random... I don't know what you would call them. I'll call them ampersands from now on and then uh, a, a letter or something next to it that would mean something. Now, they've all got their own descriptions right, right next to them in the description, but basically I'm going to show them what they do. Now, you see how some people get the weird scribbly thing effect? Now, I haven't got this here, but if I was to run out here, and I was to copy and paste this, this is the asterisk and K. There you go. I get the weird scribbly effect that some people have on some adventure maps that you may have noticed. Now, this will stop if you was to copy and paste in asterisk R, and then it goes back to normal. This happens with all of the different styles. Now what I'm going to show you here is how to uh, get bold text. This is a neat one I don't see used very often. There you go. And some of these can actually work together. I believe if you was to do the bold text and the, uh, and the changing characters, you'll get bold uh, changing characters. So there you go. And that's a good... Um, that's a good uh, mix of the different abilities here. <laughs> abilities, I call them abilities. But anyway, there. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So if we go and do the uh, asterisk R again, and if we were to do uh, M, you will put a. Uh, I think it puts a line for it. There you go. And once again, you could like combine this with. Actually, I'm not too sure if it can be combined with this one. No, nope, yeah, it can. There you go. And then actually, once again, you can't just combine two. You can combine three. So there you go. I got a bold version of that with the line through it and changing constantly. There you go. Neat effects. Um, once again, they're all in the description if you want to use these. You could just not bother watching this and just try and find it yourself. That would be pretty funny. Um, you know, find out some neat things. Took me a while to actually find this little uh, little notepad thingamajig. Okay, so you want to put an underline? You can. Oh, let's just take all that off. But there you go. It shows you can do four things at once. You pretty much put them all together. And I think the thing that people want to know the most, um, or at least I believe they want to see the most, is uh, coloured text. Now this one is an asterisk and the number of the color ID. You can go onto the Minecraft uh, forum page, uh, wiki I mean, and you'll be able to find uh, different color swatches and stuff like that. And they'll be allocated with a number. And you just put the asterisk sign. Of course it's not asterisk, I'm not too sure what the sign actually is. Um, I, it's probably like a alt control and then click a button and it probably has the sign somewhere. Uh, but anyway. So there's that and you can have more colors. I'll do another example of a random color here. Let's see, what do we want? Uh, what's number six? Let's try that. So, asterisk and six. Oh, yellow or gold. I'm not too sure. There you go. There's a different colors. And once again, if I was to make it uh, randomly changing, there you go. Colors that randomly change. Want to make them bold. We can do that. There you go. That all works. And now there is a, another one here. This one's a pretty fun one as well. Italic text. There you go. So, oh, let's just take that off. Uh, but yeah, it makes it italic pretty much slants it about 15 degrees to the right. That's what italic pretty much is. There you go. That's pretty neat. And um, that's about it. That's all I can really show you here. I will think what I shall do though is show you the next clip that I'm going to come up after this is uh, a little bit of an example of an adventure of some kind with some spelling errors perhaps. Mainly because of spelling errors and grammar and punctuation. All that good stuff. I'm going to show you this right after this clip right now. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, and look, a random book that we found lying around. What's this? The Adventure? When it was a... No, that's... Du what's I can't see that. It kind of scribbled it a little bit. That's that, that's a bit awkward, actually. I wrote that... Da I don't... What does he say on the back? Oh, wow. Those are words of insight right there. <laughs> feel like a whore. God damn it. <laughs> it is. But there you go, there's a little example where I don't forget to like. Uh <laughs> I can't oh, I don't I don't know what I'm doing anymore, okay? This book is now distributable to your nearest WH Smiths. Um I'm not too sure if you get those in America lands. 
whatever the hell the bookshop is in your local libraries, all that good stuff. Don't forget to like, friend, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.